I think that there are too many people that have negative opinions on tattoos. I got a tattoo last week and I absolutely love it. And it's not necessarily down to the fact that it is the design it is. Um, but more so because I like looking in the mirror and be able to see it. And then know that I have this piece of art imprinted into my body. Because it is an art in itself. The people that are doing this are artists and they're very talented at it. And it's about expressing yourself just as a musician would express himself through music or writer through their own writing. It's just another creative practice which I think is really beautiful. I just wanted to explain how it doesn't have to be a symbolism that gives your tattoo importance. I think it can be, you know, down to like a memory or whether you just wanted to do it for the fun of it because hell, you like tattoos. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I just kind of want that expressed out there because I think there's too much of a negative opinion against it, particularly when it comes to getting a job. Because once you say that someone has a tattoo, everyone has this sort of stereotypical view still that, you know, there's a sort of like social outcast that isn't, I don't know, they're, they're not productive or a good influence in the way that you might expect. Um, and I've been thinking about this a lot more often because I was reading The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and there's obviously Lisbeth who has a lot of tattoos and piercings and black dyed hair. And people have this assumption that she's going to be sort of a negative influence but instead she's actually this really smart, intelligible person. My tattoo is Peter Pan, Wendy and the others flying up and I know it's a very cliche thing but I chose it specifically because I like Peter Pan and for many other reasons which I've used to sort of try and establish and prove that tattoos can have, you know, they can have a really deep evocative meaning. Um, many of the different sort of meanings I've been trying to go for with this tattoo is the fact, is, you know, the ideas of not being afraid to fall, about following your dreams and most importantly, learning, you know, not being afraid to make mistakes because you're thinking about, you know, going into the unknown and anything could happen, anything dangerous, and you might regret it, but, you know, to hell with it. I'd rather do that than have a not, having not experienced things at all. And that is something which is really deep-rooted within me, and that's, like, one of the big reasons why I think the tattoo has a relevance to me. And there's also kind of one major story which I kind of go with when it can, when I consider like why I got the tattoo. And it relates back to something I heard when I came to the open day here at Falmouth um, by one of the lecturers. And he said that his friend told him, Disneyland is more real than reality. At first you're going to think that's kind of ridiculous. But when you think about it, it gets more and more true. And it's quite an intuitive comment. Disneyland is fiction and it's not trying to be anything more than fiction but then if you see that in the real world the real world is always trying to construct a sort of wholesome image about itself and that's where basically reality doesn't lie in the real world and I love how it's talking about Disneyland is more real than reality it's referring to the fact that you should basically you do, be do believe in your dreams, and that's why I want to look at my tattoo reminders, you know, as a reminder to believe in my dreams, but at the same time as a reminder that we are in a reality which is trying to fictionalise everything, and that it's going to be hard to get a job, particularly as a writer. It, it's not going to be easy. There are going to be people to put you down, and there is some corrupt nature to what we do and how we behave in society um and yeah so kind of being able to look at some a disney reference or being able to yeah look at the tattoo it's kind of this reminder that yes i can believe in my in my dreams and i can follow them but at the same time i need to remember that i need to be grounded in what i want to do and remember that i've just got to keep sticking at it